everyone welcome to my youtube channel on chemistry today i will discuss basic concepts of class 11 generally students are facing a lot of problem related to mole concept so this is a small initiative from my side to help the students regarding mole concept what is mole very interesting very important what is mole mole is a unit of amount of substance mole is the unit of unit of amount of substance substances it is the si unit of amount of materials one mole of any particles one mole of particles it may be anything it may be atoms it may be molecules it may be ions anything else one mole of particle indicates a definite amount of the particles that number is known as avogadro's number you know that this is a definite number a constant number this is called avogadro's number this is called avogadro's number this number of particles one mole of anything it may be for example one mole of atoms one mole of atom indicates these number of atoms this number avogadro's number is denoted by a symbol n avogadro's number so one mole of atom means these number of atoms that is avogadro's number of atoms similarly one mole of molecules same number of molecules this number of molecules is one mole of molecules or it may be one mole of ions that means avogadro's number of ions it may be one mole of marker means this avogadro's number of markers so what you have understand that one mole is a definite number of particles that number is the 6.02 10 to the power 23 number of particle is avogadro's number that means number of particles for one mole quantity i hope you all understand what is one mole so let us proceed with an example let for hydrogen atom you know hydrogen atom atomic mass of hydrogen atom is 1 1 one mole means 1 mole of atoms is known as gram atomic mass means atomic mass of hydrogen is 1 so gram atomic mass gram atomic mass of hydrogen is 1 gram means when atomic mass is expressed in gram unit that is called gram atomic mass and gram atomic mass amount is called one mole of atom so that element so one mole of atom means gram atomic mass that contains avogadro's number of atoms always remember this number avogadro's number of atoms is the one mole of atoms that is also called gram atomic mass that is also called one gram atom means one gram atom this gram atom is actually one mole of atom gram atom is one mole of atoms which contain avogadro's number atoms that weighs gram atomic mass means atomic mass in gram unit atomic mass of hydrogen is one So gram is added, that is called gram atomic mass. The gram atomic mass amount is called one mole atoms, which contain avogadro's number atoms, and that is also called one gram atom. Is one mole of atoms. It is example number one. Example number two. Let for nitrogen atom. What is the atomic mass of nitrogen? Everybody knows atomic mass of nitrogen is fourteen. That is gram atomic mass of nitrogen is. Just gram is added with the atomic mass, 14 gram. Atomic mass is 14. So gram is added, that's the gram atomic mass. So gram atomic mass of nitrogen is 14 gram. That means 
one mole at home of nitrogen which contain above the same number of atoms of that element which element nitrogen so this number of atom means one gram atom of that element one gram atom of that element nitrogen so this is the mole concept related to atoms okay i hope students you understand what is one mole and this is the mole concept related to atoms now let us proceed mole concept related to molecules already i have said one mole quantity means a definite number of quantities what is the definite number already i have mentioned avogadro's number avogadro's number of particle is called one mole particles and already i have discussed mole concept in terms of atoms now let us proceed mole concept in terms of molecules any molecule it may be elementary or it may be compounded one mole of molecules you know molecule is the stable particle exist in nature present in all kinds of material in this universe so one mole of molecules that means briefly known as one mole why molecule is the stable particle exist in the nature so one mole of molecule simply we say one mole does not necessary to mention the particle name but in case of atoms in case of ions you have to mention one mole of atom one mole of ions but in case of molecule you have to uh, you can write one mole of molecules or simply one mole no need to mention the particle because molecule is the stable particle found in the nature so one mole means one mole of molecules which contain how many molecules is molecules how ever that is number of molecules 23 number of molecules ever that number of molecules is the one mole molecules that is also known as one gram molecule this gram molecule means one mole gram molecule means mole one gram molecule means one mole means avogadro molecules that weighs gram molecular mass what is the gram molecular mass molecular mass expressed in gram unit for example let a molecule is water h2 is the molecular formula of water that you know one molecule of water so molecular mass of water is atomic mass of hydrogen is 1 two atoms are there into two atomic mass of oxygen is 16 so total is 18 this is the molecular mass of water so molecular mass is what uh, water is 18 so gram molecular mass of water z m n gram molecular mass means molecular mass 18 in gram just molecular mass in gram that is called gram molecular mass and gram molecular mass i am already i have mentioned here gram molecular mass is the one mole that is one mole water that is mole is also called gram molecule that is one gram molecule one gram molecule of water that contains avogadro's number of molecules of water avogadro's number of molecule of water this is the mole concept related to molecules so by this concept you can measure a drop of water like a drop of water you can measure what is the weight of the drop of water with the help of measuring balance one drop of water like a one drop of water weighs just look at the board and doing the problem let a drop of water weighs a drop of water a drop of water weighs 0.018 g one drop of water weighs 0.018 g so we are going to calculate how many molecules are present how many molecules how many how many molecules are there in that drop of water how can we do the calculation you know molecular mass of water is you know already i have calculated 80 molecular mass is 80 so gram molecular mass that is gram 80 gram just gram is added with the molecular mass so gram molecular mass of water is 80 gram and 80 gram water is already called already i have declared i have Three is called one mole of water, and which contains Avogadro's 
I go get the number of molecules of water. So, 18 gram water contain these number of molecules. We are going to calculate how much a drop of water weighing 0.018 gram, how many molecules are there. So, what to do? By using simple mathematics, from the whole concept we know 18 gram of water contains Avogadro's number of molecules. Therefore, 1 gram of water contains 6.022 10 to the power 23 divided by 18 molecules. This is the unitary method. You know from lower classes, you know this type of arithmetic calculations. Therefore, you know drop of water, what is the weight? 0 0.018 gram. Therefore, 0 0.018 gram of water, that drop of water weight is 0 0.018 gram that contains 0 0.018 molecules. You know, 6.022 10 to the power 23 into 18 divided by 10 to the power 3. So, this number of molecules that is 6.022 10 to the power 23 minus 3 that is 20 molecules. So, we have calculated that drop of water contains 6.022 10 to the power 20 molecules. 10 to the power 20 molecules. Applying more concept. I hope you understand. In this way, with the half of more concept, we can calculate a number of atoms or a number of molecules in a particular quantity. I hope student you understand what is more, more concept. Thank you. Thank you. Today, we have discussed an important topic, more concept. I hope you all have noted down. For next class, chemical calculations, more concept is very important. I hope you are benefited by this class. If you feel that this is benefited to you, then please subscribe the channel, like and share this. Every Wednesday, I will teach a new topic. Thereby, I will be your companion on the chemistry journey. Thank you.